All right, my friends. Welcome again to another video, another tutorial. The idea with this tutorial is specifically learn one particular technique on web design. What we're going to focus on initially is just background colors for web pages. And why do we think it is important to have to, to experiment with backgrounds? Because background is also content. So what you see behind, what you perceive as content is also the underlay content, if, if that makes sense. So in this case, we are going with the just plain grain backgrounds and we're building this website with Pingendo. So every time I make these videos, I try to basically give you some context of what we're, we're doing here. So what are we doing? We are exploring the program Pingendo. We're using this tool in association with templates, web page templates. Now we use those templates, we combine them and we create uh, blocks. So in this case, I'm going to show you blocks.html is a file that I created. So what it is, basically a collection of uh, blocks, uh, block key components that you can simply copy and paste into your new project. So for example, we have things such as price tables and we have a bunch of content place holding layouts that we can use right away in a snapshot. We even have this, this one with uh, this hero with a slider. We have lists, we have these anorexic layouts that we use and I'm going to leave the link. Um, so what I need for this specific case for this uh, is maybe not a component, but what I need for my blocks is being able to have a background image. So how do I do it? Well, make sure you have the, the file saved. So this is your index HTML and you're working in this web page. What you want to do is let's say take this one, this background, or let's say this one here and go where it says uh, background and, and here where it says image and go try to get a um, background image for this. Now, you can look locally, right? But what we're going to do is actually pull this from uh, somewhere else externally. So there is a library. Let me just show you. A library, a media library, in models of identity with some, some resources. Okay, so I have on my server this huge humongous directory of contents. Now what I want to grab from here are, are some uh, animated GIFs. Uh, let me just go and find it within the media library. Let me just play one of these ones and see what, I, what I'm talking about. So we have this kind of cool GIF animated. I'm just going to copy the URL. And instead of saving it, which I could do, I'm just going to instead have it as a background for any of these blocks, right? So let's say, going back to example of blocks, I can even take this menu bar if I want. I can add this background image as a URL. I can save the hell out of it. I can preview. Okay, now it is actually loading, but you won't be able to see it because this is too skinny. So let me just show you that what I did actually works in a larger element, let's say here, okay, save, preview, and voila, there you go, you have this nice and sort of animation going on in the background, so what it does is the GIF animated covers the full screen of this background, okay, now this is pretty interesting because you can also play with this effect in, in multiple scenarios. So let me just catch another of these ones. So this gif animated, animated. Uh, something darker like this one. I really like this sort of lighting ball thing. And you can place it. So let's place it behind this block here on your website. You go to where it says image and paste it. Okay. Save. 
And what it's doing is basically a, a, applying in the code a background image style directly in line on that div container. If you know about HTML, you know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, simply do that, save, and it's preview. There you go, here. Now, we have to change this to white and do other things, but you get the idea. This is the way you can create GIF animated backgrounds, which can add an edge and you know, a different, different style to your website, and why not? So I'm just going to go ahead and using that effect, apply it in the website that I'm building. And I'm going to go here in one of these and just experiment. If I don't like it, you know what, it's easy enough to change it. So why not? The key in design, again, guys, is experimentation, a lot of experimentation. There is a lot of failure, but also a lot of things can go right. You know, doesn't look that bad. I, I kind of like it. I want to keep this background here. Uh, eventually I might think it is distracting and I will work around it, I will make another iteration, I will delete it, I will replace it again for a plain background and it's, you know what, it's not a big deal. So as long as these changes don't, don't affect your conversions, because actually that will be the deal, you are, believe me, you're totally fine experimenting with multiple um, background images, colors, experimentation is definitely encouraged in rapid web design. So there you go, using animated backgrounds, uh, making video tutorials, pages, and I also recommend you to check anorexic layouts on the link of the video. So you use these templates and you can build your web pages, your own custom websites yourself in minutes and have them live in your own domain. So forget about giving all your content to Facebook, giving all your content to Twitter. Go grassroots again, make your website, have presence on the on the internet, uh, develop content. And that's exactly what these tutorials are, to show you how to do it, how to do it efficiently, and what are the different techniques that you can employ. Keep watching more videos, and I hope you enjoy. Any question, leave it on the comment sections of this video. Thank you.